Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is going on right now out there. And so I hope that you're all having a great day thus far. And so of course we'll be talking about what is happening in the vicinity of the Caribbean. Uh, there are still many islands being affected by that increased moisture that is inducing more showers. And also across portions of the Greater Antilles, there is some activity taking place. And so we're going to be taking a look at at all that is happening as well as what is expected as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of days and so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on what is going on in the tropics and then of course to share support for the channel you can leave a thumbs up on this video all right, so let us go ahead and get straight into it. And we're looking at this infrared satellite and we can clearly see that there is uh, quite some activity taking place right now across some areas, mainly the Lesser Antilles. Uh, there is all of that moisture surging and we also see activity, as I said, in the vicinity of the Northern Caribbean. So an upper level low is induced in showers and thunderstorms within that region. So let's take a closer look at these areas. So starting out uh, with the Windward Islands here we're seeing all of this rainfall activity that is prominent in the region right now affecting these areas with mainly a lot of overcast conditions but uh, of course there is definitely that chance of showers and in areas where there is consistent shower activity then there is going to be that possibility of flooding in low-lying areas so please be aware of that happening but uh, for the most part we're seeing here that there aren't any areas of very deep convection and that's usually where we find a lot of showers and intense thunderstorm activity but none of that is seen right now but again for the most part here a lot of cloudiness across these various areas here Barbados the Windward Islands Trinidad and Tobago and also northern South America inclusive of areas such as Venezuela Guyana and Suriname so those areas are also feeling impacts from all this increased moisture and as we take a look now at the northeastern Caribbean we're seeing here that uh, not as much activity is seen definitely some but nothing too intense right now uh, some areas are sort of in the clear uh, such as St. Croix and the other Virgin Islands and also Anguilla and St. Kitts and Nevis and also uh, Barbuda so those areas are not really feeling too much right now but mainly just some passing clouds that might bring some overcast skies at times and possibly even a pop-up shower but nothing intense across those areas right now but as we drift a little bit to the west here we see all of this activity and a lot of that shower and thunderstorm activities noted just south of the Dominican Republic so as of the time I'm making this video that is offshore but we see uh, scattered showers across Across the region even parts of Puerto Rico can still feel some impacts from this but this is nothing too intense as of right now guys and as we can see we're not seeing any areas of very deep convection though all that thunderstorm activity uh, taking place south of the Dominican Republic is quite prominent but nothing too intense and then as we look at the rest of the region right now we're seeing that uh, it is pretty much calm for the most part and as a matter of fact there's a lot of dry air that is helping to induce stable conditions across the region so let's go ahead and take a look at that dry air map and all that dry air is indicated by those yellows and oranges where we have a lot of those oranges uh, that is a, a more abundant dry air that is noted in the region and then where we see those whites and those shades of green that is all the moisture and uh, we're seeing that the dry air is pretty much blanketing majority of the Caribbean uh, Cuba Jamaica the Cayman Islands Central America even parts of Haiti right now uh, the Bahamas all these areas are being blanketed by all the dry air in the region and then of course we have that upper level low that is inducing all that shower activity and uh, the dry air could be a reason we're not seeing too much intense activity taking place within that upper level low because of course dry air really helps to suppress all that shower and thunderstorm activity so that could be a reason we're not seeing anything too intense but what is going to be happening and how long is this rainfall activity going to be persistent across the eastern Caribbean so let's now go ahead and take a look at what the various models well the GFS and Euro have to show 
show in terms of all of this rainfall activity. So we're looking at this relative humidity map. And so if you're not familiar with it, uh, the areas of those greens, those teals are areas of moisture. Meanwhile, the brown regions indicate that dry air. And so uh, let's take a look at what's going to be happening as we progress into this weekend. So heading to Saturday, the 7th of January, we're seeing here that there is still going to be some lingering moisture across some sections of the Caribbean. Uh, we see some of that in the vicinity of Hispaniola and Puerto Rico and also for the Windward Islands going down to the ABC Islands and parts of Northern South America. And then uh, as we head to Sunday, it's going to be pretty much the same story, but uh, more dry air is going to be setting in. Uh, for the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and also Puerto Rico as we progress into the new week. But as we're going to be heading into Tuesday, the GFS is expecting that we're not going to see too much dry air being so dominant across the region. There's going to be a decrease in the quantity of dry air out there, and we're going to see uh, we're going to see more of a probability of moisture. And so this should increase the chances of more shower activity taking place. If this is the case here, because GFS is showing this, but Euro is not so confident on that happening. And so as we go on to Euro now, so Euro is expecting that heading to tomorrow on Friday, uh, there is going to be that lingering moisture. We see some of those teals in the vicinity of the Southeast Caribbean uh, and also out into portions of the Atlantic. We see some of that moisture remaining from that upper level low. And then as we head to Sunday, the 8th of January, uh, the Euro is expecting that there isn't going to be uh, too much moisture left in the Caribbean here. And then as we head to next Friday, take a look at this. The Euro is expecting that all that dry air is just going to be so, so dominant. And so so with all those dry conditions, then uh, there is going to be that decreased chance of seeing rainfall. And, and then, of course, a prolonged period without any significant rainfall activity taking place. Place can induce drought across some areas guys and this is not something that is really uh, new for some areas and as a matter of fact even here in Jamaica the dry season runs from the end of the hurricane season uh, all the way back until around April May when the first rainy season starts to set in not to say that the entire period is going to be without rainfall but rather decreased rainfall activity and so guys that is really what these models are expecting and so only time will tell what is eventually going to be happening but of course i'm going to be keeping you guys updated so that you never miss uh what is going on out there and so uh that is really it for now and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise